Do you know that in Montana you can rent out fire watchtowers? In this video, we're going to hike to the top of McGuire Mountain and spend the night at a fire lookout. So if you're looking for one of those unique Montana adventures, renting a fire lookout is one of those things that everybody should do. And you'll see at the end of this video, the views that you get up there are just incredible. So we decided, unfortunately, when we made the reservations, we had no idea, but we ended up going on the hottest day of the year. It was about 107 degrees. So we started out and took a little swim in the Kukanusa Reservoir, which is just outside of Eureka. It's a 90 mile long body of water that stretches all the way up into Canada. And that's where it gets its name from the Kootenai River, Canada and USA. So Kukanusa. Uh, once you head south down the highway a little ways, uh, down the reservoir, we get off on this Forest Service road. And from that point, it was about 17 miles up this road before we got to the trailhead to get up to the lookout. But going up this road, it was kind of a very nice drive. We saw a whole bunch of little snowshoe rabbits running around. And then you get up into the areas where they had done some logging in the past. Obviously, logging is a huge industry up here. And and you're going to see some of this. But, you know, it's all been replanted and it will all come back. So it was just great views all the way up, and we didn't see another person, so just a great way to get away from the crowds in the summer. And when we got there, the trail from where we parked was about two and a half miles up to the lookout. And if you are uh, wanting to do this sometime, you can just get on recreation.gov or the Forest Service website, and you'll find all the different uh, forest or fire lookouts that you can rent. And so we packed up all our gear and started our little hike. And it was a pretty easy trail. Uh, there wasn't a lot of uphill like you would think going to a fire lookout. I mean, the, the end of it was uphill, but it wasn't bad at all. I've hiked much harder trails. And again, as you hike down this trail, it was just great views in all directions. Um, and I, I, I couldn't recommend this more. This was just such a fun trip. And if you're looking to, you know, see Montana and see kind of the back country of Montana, there's all kinds of these lookouts. I think there's 23 that are available around Western Montana that you can rent. And as we got to the top of McGuire Mountain, you come upon this lookout. This lookout was built in 1923, so it's pretty old. And it hasn't totally been renovated yet like some others. I read some of the reviews and, and people said the other ones are in better condition, but we had a great time. And um, when you get inside there, there's a little wood stove, a couple of benches to lay out your sleeping bags on and <clears throat> sleeping platforms, I should say. And people had left, you know, there was toilet paper in there. There was some bug spray. There was uh, some firewood out there. We built a little campfire at night. But as you can see, the, the payoff of this whole hike was the sunset that night. You know, there was starting to be some fires up in British Columbia to the north, and it kind of enhances the sunset. Um, but it was just spectacular views. You could look in all directions. You could actually see the lights of Eureka at night, and then if you turned around, you could see the lights of Libby, which in the Cabinet Mountains, which is quite a ways away, but just unbelievable scenery up there and I can't recommend it enough it it was a little breezy at the top but you could expect that and then in the morning you wake up and you have the sunrise and the windows in all directions it's just just a great thing and something you should do if you're up here in Montana thank you for watching our video please call text or email for more information and don't forget to watch our other videos about Montana